I'm Adam Berry. Electric vehicles are undeniably the wave of the future for both personal and commercial use. Our state currently has about 14,000 electric vehicles on the road, but only about 800 publicly available charging stations. However, things are looking up for Indiana in this space. The new state law will improve Indiana's position nationally and pave the way for more electric vehicle charging stations to be installed across the state. These stations are crucial because the big issue with electric vehicles is, of course, range of use. Under the new policy, private companies like gas stations can buy and sell electricity from utilities that service their area for purposes of providing it to their electric vehicle customers. This is achieved by changing the regulations so that gas stations and other retail-oriented outlets can install the charging stations and provide the electricity, but without being treated like a utility. The passage of House Bill 1221, which was an Indiana Chamber priority, came on the heels of the announcement of Rev Midwest, a regional electric vehicle co uh, coalition formed by Midwestern governors to work together to build a new network for charging vehicles. That's vital because by 2025, 10% of all new vehicle sales uh, will be electric vehicles, a figure that's gonna jump to almost 60% by the year 2040. The largest growth uh, is projected to occur in North America. Indiana's history of automobile manufacturing and supply chain participation perfectly positions the state for attracting electric vehicle manufacturing, talent, and investment. However, we needed to enter the race, and now we have. These recent changes will make Indiana a leader in the Midwest, middle of the pack nationally, but noticeably on the rise.